My name is Deanne McLeod, and I'm the chair of the Board of Directors for Phoenix Youth Programs. The global pandemic continues to exact a terrible toll on the world. While Nova Scotia is beginning to ease restrictions, we cannot lose sight of the gravity of the situation and must acknowledge the anxiety caused by the uncertainty of what tomorrow might hold. The past months have been difficult for everyone, as lives have been lost and families continue to face unimaginable pressures. It is in these difficult times that existing inequities are highlighted as they've never been before. The youth, families, and communities Phoenix has the privilege of serving were already facing challenges, including poverty, housing and food insecurity, systemic discrimination, and more. It became a crisis within a crisis for many. Phoenix Youth Programs is an essential service in our community. The weight of working during a pandemic, both in our residential and community programs, has been heavy. But Phoenix staff have shown nothing but passion, commitment, and teamwork. They continue to adapt to the ever-changing environment with expertise and purpose. With modifications in place, all programs have remained active and all staff engaged. I want to thank staff for their unwavering focus and dedication. The amount of effort that has gone into not only keeping those we serve safe and well, but also bringing moments of joy and levity was tremendous. I am proud and grateful for the work you do. Recently, the Black Lives Matter movement has regained strength both globally and locally. The crushing biases, barriers, violence, and oppression that Black, Indigenous, and people of color face daily are deplorable. At Phoenix, we are committed to advancing the tenets of social, social justice. We recognize that this work is continuous and necessary at every level, from board leadership to service delivery. We are committed. To our youth, families, and communities, I am inspired by your ongoing tenacity, especially in the face of a pandemic. The challenges of the last four months have been enormous. Thank you for allowing us into your lives. We hold this as a sacred trust and are honored to have these relationships with you. We will continue to be here. To our supporters, I am moved by how many have stepped up in these difficult times to share with Phoenix and offer support. Phoenix will continue to rise to this challenge, but the year ahead is going to be difficult for the community sector. All not-for-profits will be challenged financially, while at the same time the needs of youth, families, and communities will continue to increase beyond pre-COVID-19 levels. Thank you to those who have given. For those who can, donating online is a great, safe way to help. If you would prefer to donate items, we always need grocery and drugstore gift cards, non-perishable food items, diapers and baby wipes, and cleaning supplies. For those who cannot give at this time, please stay connected with us and support our community with tolerance, acceptance, and understanding.